Hi guys and welcome back. Today I have an interesting one for you. It's uh, 235 mats and how you can use these to kind of cheat and make your footage look a lot more cinematic and you can also kind of fix your framing if you happen to shoot something a little bit off or eye line was a little off or something like that. You can easily fix a lot of footage with this. Um, here's a few examples of things that I've done where I use a 235 mat, mostly stuff that needs to look more cinematic. All right, guys, so here we are in Premiere. You could do this in anything. You could do this in Final Cut, in Avid, in After Effects. As long as there's multi-tracks and you can adjust the X and Y axis. So I have a bunch of clips strung out here, some clips from an old music video, and then a couple stock clips here. And let's go ahead, and this 235 mat, you can get this, you know, you could search it on Google Images. You can even find ones with transparent backgrounds, 1920 by 1080, or even 720, whatever size you're working in. It's easier to go larger and then size it down if you want. All right, so this 235 mat, let's grab this, and let's drag this out on top of our footage here. And let's just extend this over all of our clips. One of the advantages of this is reframing your footage. So you can easily adjust the Y axis and it gives you a lot of latitude, or I guess it would be longitude in this case, to adjust your frame along the Y. So like the second clip here, we would wanna move this down, obviously. Let's move this third one a little bit up. Now I wouldn't necessarily use a 235 mat on this type of footage. I just wanted to provide an example for you guys on how a 235 mat can help you reframe your footage or can provide an easy way of doing this. Cause you could also crop all of your clips individually, which would be kind of a pain in the ass because what you're gonna have to do is make sure everything matches that 235 framing along the top and the bottom of your frame and that would be just a headache. So it's a lot easier to throw the mat on its own individual track, go through and adjust your clips accordingly. Put eye lines on the upper third where they're supposed to be and you can kind of get away with a lot here. Now these last two clips, I wanted to show you some of our options here, what you have with this now. Now, say you wanted this Los Angeles sign on the upper third, or maybe you wanted to add some nice light or lens flare here on the top of this lamp, and you wanted that in the shot. But maybe not. Maybe you just want that out of the shot, and you want the, you know, the, the LA sign to be the focus of the whole thing. You can do that. So let's jump over to this last clip, and I'll show you one last technique here, and that's keyframing along your Y axis. And you can get a nice, smooth tilt uh, either direction, tilt up or tilt down within the longitude of your footage. So you can get a lot of tilt out of your Y. So let's go ahead and set a keyframe here at the beginning of the clip and then let's go to where the LA sign is revealed and we'll set another keyframe. And then we'll play this out and you can see we now have a nice smooth tilt up without losing any quality or resolution in our footage whatsoever because we didn't punch in. So there's a lot you can use this for. There's a lot you can get away with. If you combine this 235 mat and some color correction, you got some cinematic looking stuff. Here's a clip that I did that was about a 45 five second tracking shot following our subject where it was handheld behind him the whole time. And what I did for this shot was keyframed him all the way through the shot, kept adjusting him because it was pretty difficult to keep him on that upper third, obviously, where you'd want him to be. All right, guys, you take this technique, you combine it with some color correction and a nice two, three, five mat, and you're going to have some cinematic looking stuff. I hope you guys took a little bit from that. You can use this to your advantage and I will see you guys next time.